welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to just sit down and have a chat with you guys about why I am using a doula. And it's a bit of a funny story, it's an interesting story. And if you're like me and had no idea like what a doula was or what they could provide for you during your birthing experience, then hopefully you find this video super helpful. Before we jump into it, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I upload mommy and lifestyle videos. I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our little family. And yeah, okay, let's jump in to why I am using a doula. And for those of you who may not know, I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant with our first baby, a little baby boy. And so if I seem super out of breath during this video or like sweating, then you know why. So why am I using a doula? Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of backstory just cause it's super, super relevant. Um, my best friend, my best friend since we've been kids um, is actually a birthing doula, go figure. And even when she became a doula, she's been a doula now, I want to say, for at least two, maybe even three years. And I remember when she was first contemplating the uh, like career change and career move, I obviously was super supportive, but I didn't really know what it meant. I didn't really know what a doula did or like what sort of support a doula could offer. And it wasn't super relevant in my life. Like my husband and I were probably around that time, like just newly married. We weren't really thinking about kids. So although it was like really interesting to like hear about her journey and to like hear about why she wanted to become a doula, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't pry or ask a million questions because I just didn't, obviously again, like I just didn't feel a connection to the whole birthing experience just yet. So anyway, fast forward <laughs> to now, I'm pregnant um, and even, even, even when I got pregnant, um, so we got pregnant last June. So it was June, 2017. I'm trying to get comfortable and just like, cannot. Um, June, 2017, I still was like, um, you know, I'm not sure if I need a doula. Like I, I don't, I didn't, I still didn't fully understand what the point was or what, why they were necessary. And um, I talk to my best friend literally every single day. We sit, um, we call each other and she's always telling me about like the birth she's attending and just what she's providing for her clients. And although it all sounded like pretty amazing, again, I was just like nothing, it wasn't clicking just yet. So uh, it wasn't until maybe a month ago that we were chatting and I, like I said to her, you know, it had come up a few times of like, you know, are you going to be using your best friend as your doula? And finally it got to the point where I kind of sat down with her and I was like, you know, I don't even really know like what, I don't know what it is that you provide. Um, especially as someone who is going to be giving birth soon, like I would love to just know what it is exactly that you, like what you do. And she was so patient <laughs> with me and explained to me in a way that it finally clicked and made sense. So the thing that she said that like really sort of like pushed me over and was like, oh wow, like that, that sounds amazing, is that she related her job very much so to being like a wedding coordinator. Now, if you've had a wedding before and you had a wedding coordinator or wedding planner, then you'll know how helpful those people were. Or hopefully your wedding coordinator was super helpful. Ours definitely was. We didn't have a wedding planner, but we had someone on the day of the wedding whose responsibility it was to make sure that everything was running smoothly and to like take care of any problems that we had um, without us having to be involved in those problems, you know? Cause like clearly it's your wedding day. Like you have so many things going on, so many other things to worry about. Um, and it's just such like a huge emotional time that like the last thing you need to be worrying about are like silly little things like place cards or napkins or something. And so she related her, what she does to being a wedding coordinator. And I, I was like, oh my gosh, like that sounds amazing. Like that sounds like something that we actually really do need. Like that, this is clearly such a life changing moment um, and some would argue even a bigger moment than your wedding because your life changes forever you're introducing a new human into the world that having someone there who could be a support system for you and who could you know like advocate for you and you know talk to nurses or talk to doctors when maybe you yourself just can't or 
can just sit down and explain things to you further so that you don't feel pressured into making decisions just sounded like the perfect perfect thing for us and so when she said that I was like you know let's let's talk about this more seriously because that was such a huge help during my wedding having a coordinator that I can only imagine that you know having someone like that at my birth would also be super helpful now a do like being a doula um, is very similar to being a midwife in that it's been, it's a profession that has been around for centuries and centuries and cent centuries, right? Like women who support women or, I mean, there are male doulas too, like people who support women during the birthing experience and who can be there for them as support. And that's what a doula does. So like a midwife is similar to a doctor in that they can like birth your child and they'll be the ones to like take all the stats and etc etc a doula is there primarily for you and your uh, spouse which I thought was really really cool and that was something that when my husband and I sat down with um, our doula my best friend she had made really clear which was super interesting because we had never you know I always thought about like oh who's going to be there to support me during during the labor and during delivery and I think a lot of attention is paid to the mother like paid to the woman who's giving birth of course but not a lot of attention is paid to the spouse or the partner who might be there, your husband or whoever it is that you are bringing this child into the world with. And how, how are they going to feel supported? You know, like who's going to be there for them? Because this is such a huge moment for them as well. And so when she had mentioned to us that she would be the support system, not just for me, but for him as well, I thought that, you know, we both sort of looked at each other and we we're like, oh, that's amazing. Like something just clicked there and we were like, that's that's so wonderful because I, I'd never want my husband, I would never want my husband during the whole labor period to feel like he wasn't being supported as well. And yes, of course, like I'm the one pushing a watermelon out of this tiny little space, but I don't like, I don't want, he needs support too, you know, like he needs, he needs people, he needs someone that's going to be there for him um, if he needs anything. And he's going to be such a support you know, and such a strong pillar for me that like, he, you know, what if he needs to run to the restroom? <laughs> what if he needs to eat? You know, like then someone can take over that job for him and he can go and relieve himself or whatever. So yeah, that was such a huge, huge reason why we decided to um, use a doula. And then um, a couple weeks ago, some really funny things happened. Um, I'm like really bad at adulting, really bad at adulting. And anything that has to do with insurance or doctors or paperwork or taxes or anything like that, I like, I tend to just crawl up into a tiny little ball and like wish the world away. And it's just like a problem that I have. But I was talking to her, um, I should say her name is Aaliyah. And um, this was before we like hired her as our doula and I've had the luxury obviously like of asking her a million questions even before she was my doula because she's my best friend and I was asking her all these questions about like insurance and like there's all these crazy steps and like, paperwork that you just don't even think about that need to get done either before your baby comes into the world or like after your baby comes into the world and I was asking her all these questions, like how how in the world would I know this information? Like how would I know that I need to fill out, like call the insurance company within like X amount of days after my baby's born to switch over their insurance? How would I know that I have to, you know, within a month before my baby's here, contact the insurance company about a breast pump? Or like, you know, like silly little things like that that you might pop into your head but like how do you like who tells you those things who does and she so calmly and coolly said your doula like your doula could help you with all of those things and so that was another moment where I was like wow that is so helpful because there are such a list of like adulty things that I thought of but like would tend to either forget or maybe didn't even think of that she had mentioned um, and I just found them so, so useful and so, so necessary. So that was another huge, like the information for just the insurance, like baby insurance, and then the information about like breast pump insurance, um, and that whole process, she kind of broke down for me and I felt like that was so invaluable. And the last sort of like major reason why we decided to use a doula was for birth planning and <laughs> I'm gonna have a whole video about like my birth plan so I won't go into it now 
but she brought up some really interesting points about the birth plan in general and like birth planning that again like I just had no idea um I'm the first one in my family to get pregnant and to like have a baby I don't have any older siblings um, my cousins have given birth but again it's just like not something that you talk about right like when the baby gets here it's all about the baby and like how cute the baby is and like how are you feeling but it's not like oh tell me what type of insurance you're using or like <laughs> tell me about I don't know like what did you administer this vaccine during while you were at the hospital sort of thing and so your doula can really really help you with all of that planning that needs to get done and all the things that need to get done that you otherwise may not think about or get to and yeah those are sort of the major reasons why we're using a doula i feel so lucky that my doula is my best friend because i think that that just it like adds on another layer of intimacy to our relationship and obviously you want to find a doula a midwife, a doctor that you trust. Um, and I think especially when it comes to a doula because they're there to support you and to be there for you emotionally, mentally, physically, it's really important to find someone that you really click with and connect with and trust. And again, I just feel super lucky that that happened to be my best friend and someone who has known me for 20 plus years and has known my husband for as long as I've known him and, and can be a support system for the two of us. So I would highly recommend if you have never heard of a doula before to do a little bit of research, um, especially if you are either planning to give birth or if you're currently pregnant and have sort of been on the fence about it. I think that it is a really fantastic it's a fantastic person to add into your little team, into your birth team, um, into your little birth tribe to support you and your partner as you like go through this huge life changing experience. And guys, that's it for today's video. If you are interested in seeing a Q&A video with my doula, I mean, if there are any sort of like specific questions that you have for her or just like have about doulas or midwives or like the birthing experience leave them down below um i can definitely sort of like figure out a way to get her here and to like get her on camera um i know that she would be a little bit nervous but i think it could be really fun so yeah if you have any questions for her or any just questions about like what a doula is or if I wasn't clear or if that sort of spurred other questions leave them down below that could be a fun video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you all really soon bye guys